Hi everyone. Once again, I am sitting amongst my vegetation, um, just looking at everything and, you know, watering it and checking to make sure everything looks good. And, um, yeah, for the most part, all my plants are doing really, really well. Um, some of my peppers got a little bit of sunburnt the other day because I left them in the sun a little bit too long. But other than that, everything's growing really good. Um, I'm having a little bit of problem with the Blue Beauty tomatoes. Those are not growing as good as I had hoped. Um, if I see one here, I'll show it to you. Uh, well, at the moment, I don't see one, but I have things growing, like, a lot of these are my peppers. I have more peppers over on the other side, um, behind you, and, um, I also have, this is hyssop, and this is starting to want to get a little flower. I'm going to just pull that off. So, I'm taking a lot of um, flowers off of the tomatoes and the peppers um, because I don't want them to put any energy into making fruit just yet. So I've been doing that. I've been repotting some of the tomatoes just because they're getting too big. They're getting way too big for a little cup. So um, I found a few of these bigger pots um, that I had cupped and I don't have very many, but um, some of them are like this one. This one's struggling because it needs to be, well, it needs to grow, but it needs to, um, it needs to be planted a lot deeper so it can go, grow straight. So that's what I'm having an issue with right now. And I can't plant them just yet Usually our last frost date is around April 20th, but um, today's April 27. Yeah, April 27, and they're talking snow this afternoon. And um, we've had a couple nights lately that have been down around freezing. So it's still way too cold for peppers, way too cold for tomatoes. Some of the things like um, my brassicas, they can handle a little bit more. I put out, um, I did plant some peas and radishes and some lettuce, Swiss chard, and uh, what's the other one? Kale. I've got some of that growing. And so I do have a few things in the garden, but you can't really see them. I just noticed that the radishes are starting to get a couple leaves up. But uh, other than that, there's nothing in the garden. So I wanted to show you guys some of the peppers that I topped and then some that I did not. So um, I do not have them by me, I do not know. So for the most part, I decided to go ahead and top almost every pepper because of the videos that I've been watching. People just say that it becomes a stronger plant and the stem is stronger and just bushes out and grows more peppers. Like I was getting a little bit concerned because I had topped a bunch of them like um, right at the beginning of April and now it's the end of April and I didn't see any new growth. And so that had me concerned. Um, here's one that I topped but I haven't seen a lot of bushing out or any new growth. Um, but I don't know if it's just putting all of its energy into making a stronger stem or exactly what, but this is one that I, I would actually like to see um, branch out, bush out more. Now there are other ones that are doing phenomenally well. This one here, this one is a, uh, oh, I'm gonna, mess this name up, but it's a, a Hemo Togarashi, Togaraski. Um, it produces, if I remember right, long, slender, sweet peppers. So this one here um, has 
made all kinds of new growth here. And, um, and so this one I'm impressed with. The stem on this one isn't as strong as um, some of the other ones, but maybe it's still working out, putting out a stronger stem. This one here is called a sheep nose, and I topped this one, but I don't remember when because I didn't write it down, but um, I topped it, and you can see there's new growth right at the top leaves. So then I got thinking, well, maybe the new growth doesn't start down here. Like, I thought all of them were going to be like this and grow out of the sides of each of the leaves. But maybe they don't on all of them. I don't know because this one's not doing that. It's growing out of the top. So, yeah. And then this one, what's this one? This one's Edvarsky. Um, this one, too, isn't doing anything. And I don't remember. I might have just topped this one not that long ago. So, anyways, I'm still hopeful and excited to see how they are going to do. And I will keep you posted on if I see all of a sudden see a big change in some of these peppers because like this one this one I'm pretty sure I topped this a while ago and there's nothing new there's no new growth on this one either so either it's putting a lot of its energy into the stalk of it the stem of it or I don't know you know what I mean and I burnt the leaves of this one, so. The sun is, it was too sunny one day for it. Anyways, this is a habanata, and this one I topped April 2nd. I just took the top out, and you can see how much um, growth is towards the bottom. I wonder if I take these two topper leaves off, if it would just grow more bushy. I wonder, I don't know though. You wonder? I wonder. I wonder where do you want to Okay. Okay, how about two more things? So I'm going to show you two more things. These are okra, and this is the first time I've ever planted okra. They seem to be a little bit stemmy, but maybe it's just because I don't have them close enough to the light. I don't know, but I'm excited to try okra. And. Um, when I go to transplant these, I don't know, can I bury some of this stem further down? Is it going to be a problem? Let me know if you have experience in growing okra. And the last thing I have in here are parsnip seeds. Um, I read that I should, so, okay. We, as a family, all love parsnips, and I love to um, fry them in some butter and cook them, and we like to roast them as well, but we love them, but I've never had success in growing parsnips, so I've read that I need to um, kind of give them, soak them on a wet napkin, um, and I put them on my heat mat so that it's warm. And I can see that some of them are starting to germinate and grow a little bit of a root. Not very many, but some of them are. So I need to get these planted here shortly. Um, but I'm excited because I really, really want to get a crop of parsnips this year. Oh, there's a couple more. But I don't know how long to keep them in this water because I don't want them to rot either. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so we're trying parsnips yet again. I seem to try it all the time, but I never really have success. I will plant them just like I plant a carrot, and the carrot will come up, but the parsnips just, I don't know, maybe it's our soil, but yeah. My celery is doing pretty good. I think I let it dry out one day on a hot day in the, um, in the 
cold frame and some of the some of the leaves turn yellow. Ah. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna remove the yellow leaves and let it keep growing. So, but I mean, for the most part, they're doing really good. They probably want to go outside too. But, um, so yeah, because I'm not sure that that yellow leaf is really gonna. I don't think these yellow leaves are gonna um, amount to much. Tastes like celery. Wow, that's good. Okay. Oh, there was a baby grasshopper. Must have picked that up outside. Eh, I don't know if I want that in my house. Um, what was I saying? I caught you talking to your plants. I yes. Guess. So let's see. Yeah, almost every plant you can think of. Here are my peanut plants. They're still growing great. Wow. Um, I thought maybe they would grow bigger faster, but maybe that's why I had to plant them so early because they are a long season plant. So maybe they grow slow. But yep, yeah, one of them are all looking really, really good. And this might be the pepper I was looking for. This is a habanada also that I topped and I left some of the bigger leaves but you can see all the little growth coming out of all the nodules here. So that one looks really good. Another thing I wanted to share with you is that I got some seeds in the mail from another YouTube channel. There are two wild onions and they sent me um, a bunch of seeds. They're called Upper Ground Sweet Potato Squash. She, they just uh, cooked up their last squash from uh, harvesting last fall, and so I was amazed how long that squash lasted, and it must have cut very well. So she sent me a handful of her seeds, and I've never heard of this squash before, so I'm excited to uh, give this a try and to see how we like it. I have several different squash that I am, these are winter squash, um, and I have several that I'm going to be planting this year. Our family loves winter squash, and I love that it can store through the winter. If you have not seen Two Wild Onions YouTube videos, I will leave a link to their channel in the description below and you can check them out and I hope you subscribe to their channel as well. They are a great homesteading channel and I just love all her animals and all of um, the plants that she has. She has so much growing all around her home and it's just gorgeous. So go check out their channel. It's Two Wild Onions Homestead. All right, guys, I think that's all I had to share with you. Um, I'm excited about getting out in the garden. Oh, and this is one more thing here. Um, one of my peppers, okay, so in here I sometimes run a fan just to keep air movement. Well, the fan fell over and it hit one of my peppers and I completely broke it off. So I'm not even sure that this is gonna start growing, but it hasn't like died up and shriveled or anything. So I'm just gonna keep watering it and see if, if it gets new growth or if it's no good. I'm just waiting, waiting and seeing. But I was so sad that my, my fan fell on it. So disappointing. What else do I have up here? Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I hope you all are having a very blessed day and I will catch you guys next time. Talk to you later.